there is one quotation also salt salt is more precious than anything right gold gold also so time is valuable time is more precious than gold as we say and salt also is more precious than gold is there right there is a quotation and now uh, here the topic today i'm going to discuss is about salt so salt is important in our life in our body body requires every day in every every meal in the morning in the afternoon in the evening every time we take some amount of salt and in science uh, there is a uh, what is it here elements nacl uh, so so something uh, some symbols are there here with the chemicals when they add salt is formed right so salt is very important for our lives so here i am going to teach you the story it is a real story are you all eager to learn the real story or the fables or uh, uh, normal stories real story you would like to learn right so the real story that is uh, here the name of the story is the crystal cave crystal cave the crystal cave here by looking at the title we could see here crystal in the sense is a white cave so cave in the sense our mind goes to some other place where when we when, see this these are houses we live in houses when we hear about the word cave our mind goes to some other place some uh, some things will live in caves so wh what do you mean by cave do you know what cave means cave is a hiding place it's a shelter for animals so creatures which uh, live in the wilderness forest so in jungles animals will live they will have some hiding place even though they don't build they live in rocks uh, in order to avoid from uh, sunlight and the rain so that is a cave now here the title is given like this but we are going to learn more about the salt why salt is important what is the matter here with this crystal cave and the salt we are going to see here now before uh, here the story real story i said and what is there in the real story who are there and now here let me just introduce you some characters in this story here here and there is grandma grandma now we have to pronounce this one as grandma so not grandma so here uh, this d is not pronounced grandma and next here and here tenyak so tenyak is a boy young boy and the another character is changun changun is a girl so here three character the story revolves around these three characters what happened to these two children what what is this grandma doing in the story we are going to see now here let me begin the story uh, where the story happened and who started and what I so in which district or uh, which state the story has taken place let me read it for you here the starting lines and if you have a text book can you please turn to the page number 12 in our textbook that is here also for new pathways course book 5 and the page number 12 the note tribe lives in the riverine mountainous district of tirap in the beautiful state of arunachal pradesh here is a story of tenak and changun two brave note children two brave note children now here these two are brave note children the bravery of these two kids we are going to see here so here and what bravery act did they do we are going to see in the story here two not a brave children two brave note children now here the not a tribe here now we are going to see here now you are not a tribe there are many tribes uh, in india there are many languages in india and here many tribals are in india tribals are the people who live in hills or the river bank uh, who are uh, away from the towns and the cities now we live in plains 
I know here we are going to learn about the Nodji tribe. Tribals. Where are they living? Where are they living? In Arunachal Pradesh. Now let me just draw for you. Here I am not very good in drawing here. I hope you will be able to understand when I am drawing here. And just uh, India map I will draw like this here. Like this, like this. Until Sri Lanka I will draw here. And let it come here. So yeah, from here. And just here, here eastern parts of this uh, here. See this is just like see In order to uh, understand here Arunachal Pradesh. Here this thing that this is Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh. So here, the story happened in this place. Uh, no, I'm just pointing some point here so that you may understand. Here, Nothe tribe is living here. It's a real story. Nothe tribe, these are the three people. These three, grandma, along with his grandma, Tenek and Changun are living in this area here, here in India map. So now, what happened here? Now, the Nothe tribe leaves. Now here, the word leaves, you know what the word leaves means. So here, actually, we pronounce this word as live, but when we add s, and usually we say leaves, no, here, we have to pronounce this word as leaves, z, sound. So, z, z, sound, sound, difference is there, and leaves, they live, so not a tribe, these tribals, they live in the river line. So here, river line. So here, this one we have to pronounce as river line, in the sense river bank, beside the river. Beside the river, these uh, tribals, they live mountainous. So here, and now here, let me write here, mountain, we pronounce this word, but we should not pronounce this as mountain, mountain us, mountain us, mountainous, mountainous district of Tirap. So here, here we are going to see here. Note tribe is living in, Ar in Arunachal Pradesh, Tirap district. There is a district. Arunachal Pradesh is a state. This is a state. This is a tribe. And here, and one part is here, and here this is called Tirap. Tirap is a district. District in the. Uh, so here the, in the Arunachal Pradesh, there is a district called Tirak and in this place, uh, these three are living. What happened now? The story begins. Now here, uh, two brave children, they are living with his grandma. Now what happened here? The story begins now. Now just introduction part only, I just discussed with you. Now the story begins. And uh, now here, taste this, grandma come along set. Taste this. What is this? Taste. Something. Eat. Eat this. Who is saying? Grandma is telling. Grandma is telling to these two kids, two children, then I can chang on. What, how are they, how are they, what are they doing? So, these two children are living with the grandma and grandma is preparing some delicious food for them. Every day, grandparents always, they look after even uh, grandchildren, right? And now here, uh, taste this grand uh, Camelon said. She scooped out, yes. Scooped. So, so this one uh, we have to pronounce as scooped, not scooped. So after P, and we have to pronounce. And now here, the, maybe you might be getting some confusion how to pronounce when these words are coming for each and every time, for every word you are saying that, uh, that we have to pronounce this and this way, not. Uh, you, uh, every word I'm saying like this, like this. But here, I'm going to tell you, if you find here some words like this, P, K, F, T, and S at the end here, before we add ED, and we have to pronounce them as T sound, not here, this is P, T, S, S, C, O, O, P, T, like that, that is a scope, like that here. For example, here, uh, when any word is there here, ED is added after S, past, we have to pronounce. And now, like that here, um, yeah, see, some any word is ending with uh, stop is there here. Yeah, if it is added here, and we have to pronounce stop like that. Here, you don't need to get confused when I write on board, and here get, uh, every time pronunciation of, of those words, don't get confused. Here, each it's very easy, simple as we go through and read all these things. So now here, taste this. She is calling. She is calling children. Denyak and Changun, please come. She used to call. With a, uh, what is that here? Sweet voice when she calls. And they are very eager to, they will run by this side, like this, they will run. 
Yes, Grandma. What did you make? Did you call us for something? I think you are going to offer us something. So, they are very much eager. And now, Grandma, yes, I have something for you. I prepared something. So, uh, this, uh, uh, this is a teaching aid. I brought this small <laughs> yeah, spoon here. Yeah. So, she, is, she wanted to serve something for them. And now, just I prepared something for you. So, eat this. I, she is just telling you to taste this broth. And now how, what she is telling here, she scooped a ladle full, ladle, ladle in the sense it is a meaning also is given here, a spoon with a long handle used to serve soup. Here ladle, ladle in the sense here, long handle spoon. So long handle spoon you might be knowing or how we just, uh, we, we take here. Like this will be there. So uh, even soups we take with those spoons. So this spoon is uh, we cannot uh, take. So this is a example of total, totally opposite of this ladle. That's the reason I brought this one. Here she uh, took a ladle full of broth and she wanted to pour in the mouths of two, these two children. Now these two children are eagerly waiting. What my grandma prepared for me. Now they are just open, they open their mouths and now, and she is telling here. So she told, and broth, she scooped out a ladle full of broth. So scooped out means picked up, scooped means picked up. A ladle full of broth from the pan or the fireplace, from the pan. So for example, this is a fireplace. So where in the villages they, uh, they make, uh, okay. So this is a fire, you just think, and the, here is a vessel, okay, so this is a vessel, and she had, uh, prepared some uh, soup on the fireplace, this is a pan, and she scooped, scooped a ladle full of broth from the, from the pan, this is the pan, so from the pan she scooped, and uh, she blew on the ladle, she blew in the sense, so this, if, if it is a ladle, she blew. Why? It's, it will be very hot. <laughs> if she, she pours in the mouths of these two children, it will be burnt and they will get hot. So, she, uh, she blew on the bamboo ladle to cool the broth. Now here, one word is there. What is that here? Broth. What do you mean by broth? This is soup. This is the soup and which will, uh, which will, uh, which, which is served to the children and now uh, they open their mouths and now grandma is then she poured a little into tenyak and changun's open mouths little into tenyak and changun's open mouths now children are so when you are asked to eat something how will you feel happy right but these children are not happy <laughs> It is tasteless. It is awful. It is so bad. They exclaimed. They surprised her. What? Did grandma also prepare such kind of things? We never thought of uh, tasting uh, things like this. We never tasted like this or uh, odd uh, thing. So she, uh, she just gave uh, the soup without adding salt. It was not at all tasty. They just said yak, yak in the sense. So here, uh, this is uh, this is yak in the sense, uh, uh, strong dislike, disgusting feeling. So exclaimed, exclaimed means surprise. I said yak, exclaimed then yak. It tastes awful, awful in the sense, very very bad. I don't like the. Uh, soup a broth which you prepare I don't like so these uh, two children there they are just going away from grandma why maybe <laughs> she will also give again so here now what happened what did grandma do so in the later part of the story what happened let me summarize it and the grandma again she went into the kitchen and in the kitchen there is a bowl wooden bowl in the bowl uh, salt is preserved and she took that salt she came the salt 
and she added salt. As she was adding the salt in the pan, and she was just la 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 something something that is a uh, some humming. She was singing some songs in the villages. Not a ballad, long narrative poem is called a not a ballad. Ballad in the sense it's a poem. So she was singing and uh, stirring, mixing the broth. Again she brought. Children, you are going away. Don't go away. Come here, come here, come here. I just did something and again, please taste it. No, 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 no. We don't want to taste. No, please, this time you taste once. Then, and she again poured in the mouths of these two children. Mmm. Delicious, Grandma. We are so happy to taste this one. Mmm. What did you do, Grandma? So, before Grandma, before they asked Grandma, she asked them, what happened to this soup? What did I do? What do you think I did? She asked. Then they said, Grandma, you did something when you went into the kitchen. You must have added, added the salt into this broth. Therefore, it is tasty. Because he, Then she told, yes, that is the miracle. That is the thing. Salt I added in this and it became so tasty. Salt makes taste tasty things here salt is more precious than gold so here let me tell you a small story she keep on telling a small story how she got the salt in their village how uh, how they used to uh, produce the salt on their own they, they are not used to buy salt from the shops they used to buy uh, they used to prepare on their own so because salt lake is to flow salt canal is to flow by their village and they used to get the salt water and keep under the sunlight and the uh, grains of the salt used to remain uh, in the troughs and finally they used to get and that's because of that salt and they used to become very rich and they used to feel happy uh, in olden days. She told all the story about how they got the salt. I hope I, uh, the story uh, about this crystal cave and the later part of the story and the second part and the later part will be there. How uh, the children, the children were very much eagerly to learn about the salt. Why this Nocte tribe, this tribe, this tribe also uh, in Tirab district, they were not used to buy uh, the salt because they used to prepare on their own. So these children wanted to know how, what happened, the later part of the story. And they, they have so the lake and the cave is there, crystal cave. From there and every time, like a fountain, water used to flow to, uh, through their village and they used to get that water with that water and they used to uh, become rich and uh, live happily and a healthy life. And here the story here and how they were going to that so a crystal cave is a matter here. Uh, they are, because they are tribal people, the children, brave children, uh, they alone without informing uh, to their uh, grandparents and they went uh, into the hill and they found the uh, lake, salt uh, cave, finally they got it. So that is the story about it. I hope